In this video, I'm going to uncover the truth about seven common myths about cataract surgery that I hear from patients on an almost daily basis. By the way, I'm Dr. Michael Chua. I'm a board certified ophthalmologist and I make videos to help you see better, look better, and feel better too. Okay, here's the first one. Cataract surgery is painful. The truth is, no, it shouldn't be painful at all. Before surgery, we apply several rounds of numbing eye drops such as proparacaine and tetracaine. And we also give IV medication to help you relax before the surgery starts. And once cataract surgery begins, we also inject some more numbing medication into the eye to help prevent any discomfort. If a patient is mentioning that they feel uncomfortable, we make sure to give more anesthesia, whether it be numbing solution to the eye or more IV medications to make sure that the patient is comfortable. So cataract surgery should not be painful. Now, that's not to say that you won't feel anything. Most patients can feel the eye drops and the fluid that washes in and around the eye during the surgery. They often also see the light show or moving shadows and shapes that occurs as we remove the cataract and place a new lens. Okay, what about the next one? Cataracts can grow back. Nope, not quite. During cataract surgery, we remove the entire cloudy lens and replace it with an artificial intraocular lens. Since that whole lens is removed, a cataract can grow back after surgery. Now, what we can see is what's called a posterior capsular opacification or PCO. Basically, the lens in our eyes sits inside a bag called the capsule. After cataract surgery, sometimes leftover lens epithelial cells can reproduce and move towards the backside of the capsule and can make the capsule cloudy, causing symptoms like blurry vision and glare. To treat this, we perform a quick and painless procedure called a YAG capsulotomy, where we basically use a laser to create a small opening in that cloudy capsule to allow light to pass through properly and restore clear vision. Okay, let's take a look at the next one. Will cataract surgery clear up my floaters too? I actually get asked this one quite often. Unfortunately, no, cataract surgery will not help clear up your floaters. And in fact, you may even see your floaters more clearly or may see more floaters after surgery. During cataract surgery, we're working on the lens inside the eye. Floaters, on the other hand, are caused by clumps within the vitreous gel, located a little further back in the eye. And during cataract surgery, we have no intention of going back there and manipulating your vitreous gel. Generally though, if you notice more floaters after cataract surgery, they tend to become less obvious or subside within three to six months after surgery. Okay, here's the next one. You'll be totally out of commission as you recover from cataract surgery. You know, patients are actually pretty functional even a day or two after cataract surgery. Now, the day of surgery, patients often tell me they may feel a little bit groggy or sleepy from the anesthesia and take a nap. But patients can basically resume light activity after surgery almost immediately. I'm talking about daily tasks like reading, watching TV, showering, and walking around. So no, you won't be totally out of commission during your post-op recovery period. Now, there are temporary restrictions like avoiding heavy lifting, straining, bending over at the waist, eye rubbing, and direct water exposure to the eyes for the first two weeks after surgery. And you'll have to use some eye drops for a few weeks after surgery. But usually, vision improvement occurs in the first few days to weeks after cataract surgery. So in most cases, as long as you follow basic post-operative instructions, you'll likely recover smoothly without prolonged downtime and major lifestyle changes. Let's take a look at the next one. I won't ever need glasses after cataract surgery. So this one depends on what kind of prescription you had before surgery, what type of lens you chose for surgery, and what kind of activities you need your vision for. Generally, we have three types of lenses that we can implant in the eye during cataract surgery. They are one, basic monofocal lenses, two, monofocal toric lenses, and three, extended range of vision lenses. If you go with a basic monofocal lens, the assumption is that, yes, you'll still need to wear glasses at least some of the time. For example, if your focus point is set to distance after cataract surgery, you'll need reading glasses to see things up close. And if you have astigmatism, then you'll probably need to wear glasses all the time to help you see more clearly. And even if you pay to upgrade to those better lenses, perhaps a toric lens or a multifocal lens, there may sometimes still be instances where you would need glasses. For example, if you get a toric lens, which will help to account for your astigmatism prescription, if that toric lens is set for distance, you'll enjoy crisp vision for looking at things far away, like watching TV or street signs while driving, but you'll likely still need reading glasses for things up close, like reading or looking at your cell phone. And if you get, say, a multifocal or trifocal lens, like an Odyssey lens, then this lens will give you a larger range of vision, helping you see close, intermediate, and distance objects clearly without glasses. So if you go with these lenses, most of the time, you probably won't need any glasses. There may be some times though, maybe if you're in a dark room or if you're trying to look at something very small up close, where you might need a pair of reading glasses. And you'll also want to keep in mind that with these extended range of vision lenses that you'll see rings around lights, particularly at night. So in summary, You'll definitely need some sort of glasses if you go with the basic monofocal lens for cataract surgery. And there may also be some instances where you might need glasses even if you get those upgraded lenses as well. Okay, how about this one? 
only older people get cataracts. While it is true that cataracts are more common with aging, they can develop in people of all ages, even kids. There's different factors like genetics, eye injuries, certain medications like long-term steroid use, and specific conditions like diabetes that all affect the rate of cataract development. There are even some babies born with cataracts. These cataracts are usually caused by genetic factors or metabolic conditions. I remember once having to do cataract surgery on a five-year-old child, and it turned out that both of his siblings also had cataracts at a similar young age. Other factors, in addition to things like trauma or diabetes, that can accelerate cataract development include sun exposure, smoking, and having high nearsightedness or myopia. It's not that uncommon for me to see a patient in their 40s with significant cataracts, and they usually have one of these risk factors to explain why they developed cataracts at a relatively young age. Okay, here's the last myth we'll take a look at. You need to wait until the cataract is ripe enough to have surgery. Well, I suppose the word ripe is a little ambiguous, so we would need to clarify that a little bit. But this is a conversation I have with patients on a daily basis. That is, whether that cataract is ready or ripe enough for surgery. And the main thing I'm looking for is how the cataract and its effect on your vision is affecting your daily life. For example, if you feel like you can drive your car, watch TV, read your cell phone and computer okay, or cook, brush your teeth, all of those things with no significant problems from your vision, then I'd recommend to hold off on surgery. But if you notice that your activities of daily life are starting to get affected by your vision, then you'd want to consider doing surgery. The other possibility too, and this has become more popular in recent years, are refractive lens exchanges. A refractive lens exchange is a surgery in which we take out the natural lens inside the eye and replace it with an artificial intraocular lens. Procedure-wise, it's basically the same steps as cataract surgery. But the only difference is that this surgery is done to correct your refractive error or glasses prescription rather than to get rid of a cataract. So for example, if someone has a minus six or a minus eight prescription and they're tired of wearing glasses all the time to see at distance, or if someone has presbyopia and needs reading glasses to see up close and they want a lens that will help them see distance and near without having to use glasses, these patients may elect to have lens replacement surgery so they don't need to wear glasses all the time. So in these cases, the cataract isn't really ripe at all, but patients are still getting lens surgery. So the key difference between cataract surgery and refractive lens exchange is basically the indication for surgery. For cataract surgery, the cataract has become dense and cloudy enough to be visually significant, affecting a patient's daily activities. And once that cataract has hit that point, the surgery would be covered by medical insurance, at least here in the US. But if a patient is doing surgery more for convenience, that is, the lens really isn't that cloudy at all and the patient can see fine without glasses, but they wanna go ahead and replace the lens to not have to wear glasses anymore, then this would be considered a refractive lens exchange and is not covered by medical insurance. Okay, if you find this information helpful, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for all the latest updates. And if you live in the Los Angeles, Orange County, or Inland Empire areas and are thinking about cataract surgery, Feel free to visit our website or give our phone number a call to make an appointment today. And if you made it this far into the video, that means you're probably interested in learning all about cataract surgery. You can watch my video here to learn about everything you need to know about cataract surgery. I'm Dr. Michael Chua. See you next time.